hey friend, why don't you come on in and let's read the book. Let's take you into the council chamber. You want to come with me? <laughs> Good. Now this is where we like to say all the magic happens. This is the council chamber. Let me just take you on the tour of my home, my home away from home. This is where we do all the counseling here now for social distancing. But typically, this is the school. Your parents will come and sit with you. And this is what will happen when you're the... You get to stand right here. And one of the proclamations saying that you are the student of the month. And you'll get to stand here with me, your friends. And if you want, you can even say something. You can say, thank you, mom and dad, for helping me to be a good student. But you'll get to stand here and see all of your friends and family. And this is council chambers. This is where the council and the mayor sit. And let me show you my seat. <laughs> this is where I sit. Um, Gregory Glover, councilman for the city of Cedar Hill. So I have some stories that I want to read. So if you just hold on for a minute, I'm going to go and sit in my council seat, grab my chair and my glasses, because I need glasses to read. I'm going to read you two books about a bear that I think is going to be really interesting. Before I begin, now that we are sufficiently six feet apart, I'm going to take my mask off and make it a little easier to be heard. And I want to thank the library staff and all of the wonderful people at the library, Ms. Bell and Ms. Chelsea and the young lady holding the, <laughs> the, <Kelsey. laughs> the camera. I just want to thank you all because in this very difficult time, we still have an opportunity to share as a family and as friends and read. And I don't know about you, but I am so looking forward to being able to go back into the library and grab books and read and talk and see all the interesting programming at the library. And hold on, you know we're building a new library. So it's gonna take a little while, but in that time, we're still gonna have as many things as possible at the library. So I invite you to come when we are able to, to come back to the library, but use all of the online tools, my family, we use our Kindle, we use the Libby and the two other apps, um, Overdrive, in which we select books and read them at home. But you know the library still lets you check out books and you can just come and check out those books online and then pick them up and bring them back. But that's not why you're here, you're here for story time. So let me read to you two books. This first one is going to be Hotel Bruce. This book is about a bear and a hotel. So let me start. This is, oh, and I need my glasses so that I can actually see what I am reading. This is Hotel, Hotel Bruce by Ryan T. Higgins. I feel like LeVar Burton. Bruce was a bear. And for those of you who don't know about LeVar Burton, you can Google it and ask mom about LeVar Burton. Bruce was a bear who lived with four geese. Reluctantly. But he was their mom, which meant every winter he migrated south with them. Who knows what migrate, migrate means? That means that you go from the north to the south in the wintertime where it's nice and where it's not as cold. Welcome to Miami. He would have preferred to hibernate because you know bears like to hibernate in the wintertime. Look at Bruce's face. Migration and motherhood is hard work for a bear. It made Bruce tired and grumpy. What happens when you get tired and grumpy? I don't want to know. That's why when Bruce came home one spring to find that mice had moved in and turned his house into a busy Woodland Hotel. Welcome to Northwoods Hotel, your home away from home. Did you see that mice, that mouse say that? 
he was not happy. Bruce was in no mood for rodents. He turned them out of the house and headed to bed. That's when the trouble started. It was a long night. Bruce is sleeping in the bed with a moose. Can I have a glass of water? You're hogging the sheets. I want to snuggle. I need to go to the bathroom. The, the next morning, Bruce woke to the sounds of birds chirping and squirrels chattering and possums having a pillow fight It only got worse. It's a bath. These veggies and spices are good for your shelves. Look what's going on in Bruce's house. It's not even his house anymore. Thank you for choosing the Northwoods Hotel. We hope you, you enjoyed your stay. Our bellhops will see you to your luggage. They're kicking Bruce out of his house. Bruce growled, grumbled. Bruce asked to speak with the manager. The mice went into another room for a moment. And Bruce tells the geese, I'm not tipping you. Two mice came back wearing ties. I'm the manager, I have a tie. No, I'm the manager, my tie has stripes. They took my tie. They were interrupted by a commotion in the kitchen. Run for your lives, the turtle soup has gone bad. It was a disaster. And the turtles had taken his best silverware. Bruce started to lose his cool. I'm sorry, I can't understand your accent, one mouse said to him. Maybe we should hire a translator. The geese stepped in to smooth things over. Oh, he's with you, and the mice understood. Sort of. Uh, Bruce is now a bellhop. Just when it couldn't get any worse, What's coming? What do you see? It looks like a bus of elephants on parade. It did. This was the last straw. Well, really, it was the last elephant. Elephants in Tommy Bahama shirts. Finally, Bruce lost his temper. temper. This is not a hotel. This is my house. Everybody out right now out. Sheesh, I thought they'd never leave. And the mice are still there. And Bruce kicks the mice out. Bruce's house was a quiet, peaceful place again. And there were no more visitors. Honk, honk. Do you see how peaceful the house is? And do you see where the mice are? Well, they're sitting outside in the rain. What do you think is gonna happen next? At least for a while. It looks like Bruce invited the mice in from the rain. And this is the end. What do you think happened after this? Do you think Bruce now is living with geese and mice? I don't know, that's gonna be a very crowded house, but at least they're on the small side, so he won't have to share much of his bed. Don't you think? Did you like this? I like this. I think this is my new next to favorite book. I have one more book to read today. This is still about the adventures of Bruce, and this is Bruce's Big Storm. And this is also by Ryan T. Higgins.
Bruce was a bear who did not like neighbors. Bruce must not live in Cedar Hill because everyone in Cedar Hill likes their neighbors, right? Neighbors were loud. They were always interrupting and pestering. Worse still, neighbors lived all over Bruce's neighborhood. Hi neighbor, do you have any robotic laser cutters I could borrow? Look at all the different things we neighbors are doing. How do you think Bruce feels right now? Bruce's neighbors were always coming and going, but at least none of them stayed very long until the day of the big storm. Bruce did not want visitors. He wanted to wait out the storm in peace and quiet. Soggy hollows weathers today, we have rain that is very wet and wind that is very windy. Sorry to be a bother, but can we please stay here during the storm? So it looks like Bruce is getting more visitors, just like the hotel all over again. Big storms are less scary when you're together. Let's invite everyone to play games in our pajamas. I love pajama parties, and we don't even have pajamas. As the rain started to fall and the winds got windier, more and more animals began to arrive. Hey, if you take a look over here, who do you see? It's those mice again, aren't they? Finally, the whole neighborhood was there in Bruce's home. Wait, said Rupert, someone's still outside. Everyone went to the window to look. Well, almost everyone. Everyone's at the window, except for Bruce. How does Bruce look? Does he look happy? There was a little bunny out in the storm. Someone has to save her, shouted Tissel. I'm on my way, said Nibbles, as he ran out the door. The mice are trying to run outside to save the bunny rabbit. And look what is Bruce reading. He's reading a book. He can't see it, but the book says, The Bear by Himself. <laughs> but the big storm was too much for the mouse, and, his, and, and in his hurry, Nibbles got a little carried away. Ah, oh, oh, look, I can see my house from here. Nibbles grabbed an umbrella, but that umbrella is carrying him away. Nibbles, Nibs' rescue mission was going, was not going as planned. I'm here to rescue you, but I need help now first. Look how the wind carried Nibs all the way to the bunny rabbit, but he still needs some help. It's okay. Swoosh. It's all part of my plan. That they're being flown away. They're, the wind is carrying them away from the house. They needed a little more help. Bruce, you came to save us. You took my favorite umbrella. We need a new plan. What's happening now? It looks like Bruce is being carried away with them. Everyone had to pitch in, and together they pulled the bunny, the mouse, the grumpy old bear back to safety, along with Bruce's favorite umbrella. It had been quite an adventure. Everyone, take one of Bruce's clean towels. Bruce did not like adventures. While the storm raged on outside, Bruce's visitors, cozy and warm, played games to pass the time. Duck, duck, Bruce, you're it. Bruce did not like games. Do you think you would like games if you had all of your friends and neighbors over at your house? Then one last guest arrived, a great big oak tree, and it didn't knock. Battle stations, get me a chainsaw. I'm allergic to acorns. Squeep. They were all okay, but the house was not. Still, everyone found a safe, dry corner to spend the night. 
that looks like that safe, that dry corner is Bruce's couch. Come morning, Bruce's house did not look so great. How would you feel if you were Bruce now and your house had a tree in it? Soon, Bruce's neighbors went back to their own homes, leaving Bruce behind to grumble in the rumble. But not for long. Tap, 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 tap. Now what is it, Bruce says. I think we're in for a treat. All of Soggy Hollow, every neighbor came back to lend a hand, hoop, paw, or wing to help Bruce rebuild. Look what they're doing. Look what his neighbors, his friends are doing. What are they doing? They're helping him rebuild his home. Over time, Bruce's house was put back together even better than before. We'll call this addition Rumpus Room. It's for rumpusing. Not only did they rebuild the house, but they put a new addition to the house. It became a popular place in Soggy Hollow for all the neighbors to gather and have fun. They're playing cards. They're playing go fish. Bruce did not like fun, and he still did not like neighbors, but they sure liked him. You've been elected to be our den mother. And look, Bruce is still another mother. He's a den mother for these little kids in the neighborhood, along with, if you remember, he's, a, he's the mother of the geese. So this is Bruce's big storm. What did we learn from this? We learned that it's good to have neighbors because neighbors will come and help you out and then they, they will also stay and keep you warm and be friends and play games with you and help you out in your time of need. So I hope you all enjoy these books today. You can get both of these books at the library. If you like to read more of about Bruce, this is a whole series. You can get these books at the library online and some helpful person at the library will bring these out to you and drop them at your car. If you need more information, just give the, give the kind people at the library a call and they'll help you out with trying to find out how to pick books online. I just wanna say thank you. It's been great to share just a little time with you and I'm so happy that you came here today. I look forward to seeing you guys at the library or around the neighborhood. And once all of this is over, I surely expect to see each and every one of you being student of the month for your schools and being able to give you a proclamation here in, in council chambers. So thank you and have a great day. Remember, we love you. Be safe. Wear your mask when you're out. That's a great thing to do. And we will see you soon. Take care.